The Baylor Bears rally for a second half comeback and beat the Tigers at Faro Field. Highlights in a conversation with Missouri head coach Gary Pinkle coming up next on This Week in Mizzou Football. The Baylor Bears came and surprised Mizzou at Faro Field this past Saturday by a score of 40 to 32, a tough conference loss for the Tigers. And, uh, Gary, uh, not at all what you expected, I'm sure, on Faro Field Saturday. Well, you got to play better, and, uh, you know, I'm responsible for that. Uh, you know, I just, uh, we just didn't play consistent enough and, and uh, certainly didn't play well in the second, enough in the second half. We had a 11-point a, uh, lead at halftime, and uh, we've had this problem before. Let's look at the highlights of the Tigers game against the Baylor Bears visiting from Waco, Texas. Texas like weather in November, a sunny skies, a mid 70s the temperature. Tigers come out and start well, Gary. You've got the ball moving upfield. Blaine Gabbard had a big day throwing the pigskin and he connects with Denario Alexander for 12 yards here. Yeah, that was nice, uh, you know, play we had in there. He had an option to hand the ball off or throw the ball, which, which uh, uh, you know, we, we gave him and that worked out pretty good for us. And, uh, there was a nice uh, completion to Jared Perry down the sidelines, 38 yards. And then Jarrell Jackson, so Gabbard spreading it around on this opening drive, and Missouri marching right down the field towards an opening drive touchdown against the Bears. Well, yeah, we you know, made some plays, executed well, and uh, you know, Blaine's feeling better, I think, which is which is good. I think we'll get better and better as we go. Um, and then we run it in there, and we just direct snap it to Derek Washington down there and, and uh, block it, and he's his own blocker also for the touchdown. Tigers up 7-0, just two and a half minutes into the game. Baylor gets the ball then, and Nick Florence, true freshman, started as third stringer this year, but with uh, injuries to the quarterbacks above him, Robert Griffin and Blake Szymanski, he's now the starter, and he really had a big day, didn't he? He had a career day. I mean, you know, they, unfortunately, we say that, but he did, and, uh, you know, that's what we'll have to go back and analyze why and, and look at those things. Uh, but he had the best day of his life, and uh, they completed a third and 14, got that, and then they settled for a field goal, so they're right on the board with a long drive down the field. 7-3, Missouri with the lead. We move on in the first quarter. The Bears have stopped the Tigers, get the ball back, and here they come. A lot of short passes seem to be effective for Baylor. Yeah, and we're also having missed tackles. You know, we lose leverage and missed tackles. You do a combination of those things, and, and uh, you know, those four-yard gains turn into 13-yard gains. So. Um, it's not rocket science, you know, it happens again here, you know, it's, it's a, that's, that's not that difficult of a football play, but uh, when you're not tackling, you're not physical enough, um, you know, again, it's another 13-yard play when, uh, you know, if you tackle better, it'll be less. Florence here will carry it in from eight yards, and Baylor had the lead at 9-7. to seven. The extra point attempt was blocked, so it remained a two-point bear lead, 9-7, late in the first quarter. Yeah, you know, that's you know, just a basic play that uh, we, we didn't uh, handle very well. Uh, again, we're run run pass option. Uh, then you all switch the ball. Can't do that. But uh, getting some perimeter block and getting the ball on the outside a little bit, I think, helps us. 14 yards from Gabbert to Alexander. Now a 22-yard toss down the middle. Jarrell Jackson across midfield. That was a nice play. Uh, those bubble screens, those those quick passes we're doing to the perimeter, uh, really are like runs to us. It's like calling it a sweet outside sweep or something. That's uh, you know we're throwing the ball, but actually we're uh, you know we're. Uh, it's, it's in our in our as we look at it as a run that spreads the uh, defense out. There's a nice catch by Denario and uh, I think another one right here uh, for for third down completion. Denario had 11 first half receptions on his way to another big performance. And uh, after one quarter, it's 9-7 Baylor. But your guys on the move and lining up here for a field goal from Grant Russell. It's good from 33 yards out. You'd regain the lead, Coach, at 10-9. Well, we fought back and got the lead back, and I think that was a good answer. Uh, Grant's has just done a tremendous job. I mean, it's, uh, that's an understatement, his consistency. Him being a sophomore is great. Again, this is like a run to us. It's like running a sweep. And uh, what, what, the reason it's working so well is they have so many people inside the box. And so that uh, works in our favor. 15 yards to Alexander, 15 more to Jared Perry, and here come the Tigers again. On the move in the second quarter into Baylor territory. And same type play again. And that's, uh, you know, that worked out well for us. And got stalled down here again and just had another great kick uh, by Grant at 46 yards. Russell makes his second field goal of the game, three for three. He's 17 of 18 in field goal attempts this season. Meanwhile, Sean Weatherspoon here with a spark for the defense as he gets the sack on the quarterback, Florence. Hard to sack. Even if we watch them last, they, they get, rid, get rid of the ball quick. He's pretty elusive, but Spoon got through and uh, got those negative yards, which was a plus. Biggest play of the season offensively for Missouri, an 84-yard score. Gabbert to Alexander, the catch, and then the run. 
And, Coach, we've seen folks don't catch Denario Alexander when he gets it in open field. Yeah, we just got to try to get it to him better and more often if we can. But uh, that was certainly a, a really a great drive by our offense. It wasn't a lot big. It was a big play, certainly. But, uh, you know, trying to get some points on the board at half of the minute left. You know, Blaine being a young quarterback, giving him the football. And uh, obviously that worked out well for us. 20 to 9, Mizzou with the lead. But then kickoff return here uh, by Terrence Williams. Uh, this is an area of concern for you, isn't it, Coach, kick coverage? Well, and you work so hard at it, and you have the same problems. And there's nothing worse than working, putting extra time, extra minutes in your practice, working extra drills on it, and come out and, 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 uh, and still make the same mistakes. However, that's, that's, that's my, our job, and that's my job, and obviously it's not fixed. So we can talk about it all we want, but it's not fixed. Baylor had good field position with the return, and then the horse collar 15-yard penalty tacked on, but Alden Smith gets a sack, helped by his defensive end mate Jaquie Smith, who really forced Florence right into Alden's arms. Nevertheless, Baylor comes back, though, and uh, still moves the football. The tight end, Justin Akers, down the middle, and then it's Florence rolling left and finding his man in the corner for a touchdown. Well, that's just not very good coverage, and uh, it's his own coverage, and, and, and unfortunately that happened, but uh, they're answering. You know, they're moving the ball, and we're not, we're not doing very well. Just as we threw, throw the ball, you know, at the beginning, that long play to uh, Denario that we have backed up, we trust Blaine to do that. Now, you know, we got about a minute left and a half. We're going to try to drive down and see if we can get a field goal. And you would do even better than that as uh, Gabbard is just on fire this first half throwing the football. West Kemp for nine and Derek Washington for 12. And you managed the clock well and saved all three timeouts. And boy, were they precious because with one tick remaining, Gabbard to the corner for West Kemp. It's a score. And the extra point made it 27-16 Tigers at halftime. Yeah, it was a great drive. Great momentum play for us, too. And I thought that would really carry over in the second half a little bit. Uh, you know, unfortunately it didn't, but you know, those are huge momentum halftime plays uh, to take that kind of a lead. And, uh, you know, certainly Blaine is uh, playing very, very well. You know, he's not throwing interceptions. He had no turnovers on offense. 